Hello friends, this video on light part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this concept is what we call as lateral inversion. Inversion means something which get reversed. So it is the phenomenon where left appears right and right appears left in, in case with a plain mirror. So whenever you stand in front of the mirror, in this case you see the boy has, is pointing with his left hand. But on the mirror, it will appear as if he is doing it with his right hand. So how does this happen? So do you think you get this type of image? You don't. You don't get this type of image. So this doesn't happen. So that is why the reversal of mirror image left and right as compared to the object viewed by us. This is known as lateral inversion. And this type of image formation never happens. So let's look at this example which will help you to understand it more easily. So if you have a board on which is written light and if you place it in front of a plain mirror, the image that is formed would read something like this, which is again very much interesting. So you see it, it, it re reads it in the reverse way. So this also proves the concept of lateral inversion that yes, there's something like reversal happens with plain mirror. Now you might ask that how does this happen? How this reversal happens? Now it happens on a very simple concept. And do you know what is that concept? So that concept is nothing but what we learned in the previous slide that image distance is always equal to object distance in case of a plane mirror. That means the distance of the object from the mirror will be equal to the distance of the image from the mirror. So when you have light written, so when the image formation happens, so for T, this is the distance of t from the mirror. So the image for t will also happen at the same distance from the mirror. So L, L is at this much distance from the mirror. So the image for L will also be formed at this much distance from the mirror. So based on this concept, the reversal of images take place because each part, now not even L, each part of the L. So if you look at this part of the L, the image for this part is formed here because the distance of this part from the mirror is equal to the distance of this part from the mirror. So each point of the object for which image is being formed, it follows this property that the distance of that point from the mirror is same as the distance of that corresponding point for the object is from the mirror. So based on this concept, this entire lateral inversion takes place. So you think of another example. So let's say if you have a board on which light is written and now you have a mirror placed here, right? So you see in this case the image looks different than it was in this case because the placement of the mirror has changed. Now since the mirror is placed here, so now the distances will be measured from this direction. So that's how the image which is formed in this case is dif different from the image which is formed in this case. So it depends where exactly the plane mirror is located to decide how the image would be. So let us try to do it ourselves. So we will do it with the same thing. Let's say this is light, okay? And this is the mirror. So the, how the image will be formed. So let's consider this point. So the distance of this point is this much. So almost at the same distance, we draw a point. That is this point. The image for this point would be this point. Now let's consider this point which is at this much distance. So basically at the same distance we will draw another point. Right? Again let's consider this point which is at this much distance and again at the same distance we will point. We will give another point. So you see this is how the image will be formed. So L is formed like this. Similarly I, G, H, T and so on would be formed. So basically this concept, this simple concept that the distance of the image would be the same as the distance of the object results in lateral inversion. So if even if you look at this image from nature where we saw that the surface of water acts as the mirror. So here also you see the smaller clouds which are present at the bottom. In their mirror images they are present at the top. That is also because of lateral inversion. So whatever was present up now appears to be present down. Whatever was present down now appears to be present up. So that's nothing but lateral inversion. 
Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.